Well, hello and welcome to a new video where we are going to test Star Wars Empire at War on the NVIDIA 940MX GDDR5 version. And we are playing this actually at 1440p with the highest settings preset without any V-Sync enabled. And we are playing a space mission, obviously, which is not as demanding as the ground missions are, but I actually really do not enjoy playing on the ground. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And since we are seeing around 100 FPS right now, that is very convincing to me that all the ground missions will work properly as well. And yeah, we are in the thick of it. I have two two friendly ally bots here and three enemy bots and we are playing as the Empire and against the Rebels. And this is obviously again my trusty ThinkPad T470P we are playing on. So not only do we have the 940MX but we also do have a quad core i7 CPU as well as 16GB of system memory. And we're actually using 9.7 gigabytes, or at least uh, this is allocated right now, and used actually is only 6 gigabytes. And it does run very smooth, even though the frame time graph kind of suggests otherwise. And we actually do see some drops into the 60s now, but I mean there's a lot going on now here since we actually do have quite a lot of units running around this map. Oh, and I think we need to build some new mines since they have been destroyed by our, by our enemies here. So yeah, let's do that. And then try to take down the enemy base as soon as possible. And let's go into the cineastic mode and see how well it runs there. But yeah, I mean, I've never seen it drop beneath 60 FPS and just remember we're not even at 1080p here, we're at 1440p. So if we were to set it down to 1080p, we probably would see uh, even more FPS right now. But since I do have a 1440p monitor here, I think I will just leave it at this right now as long as it runs as well as it does here. And yeah, I'm just going to build some more Star Destroyers. And in a very moment, all of them are here. And I think we lost Boa Fett, did we now? Oh, fuck. Uh, that sucks. But yeah, I don't really think we will need him. Since our allies are a pretty good distraction for the enemies right now. And I haven't even seen a single capital ship by the enemies right at the moment or in this game. So let's fast forward a little bit more. And our Star Destroyers are actually on duty. So I don't really care what's happening here in the background. Oh wait, but I do care about all my ships being destroyed. But not to worry, we do have some backup. And obviously this is the vanilla version, there are not, or there is not a single mod in this game uh, which I have installed, so this is the raw performance you will get if you do have the vanilla version. I, at least I have it on Steam, so this is the, the Steam version. And I want these guys to destroy the shield generator. And this one to fire on his weapons on a shield generator as well. All right, uh, now let's just sit back and enjoy the view. I mean, the textures aren't all that crisp anymore in 2023, but I mean, this is a 17 years or even 18 year old game. And for that, it looks pretty much fantastic even by today's standards i mean look at how well these <laughs> these starships are flying and navigating through the map i mean even by today i i just can't get enough of these space battles which i can uh which i can create myself in this game 
And yeah, you can see obviously that our 940MX is absolutely capable of running this perfectly smooth. I mean, really, the, the worst I have seen so far is a drop into the 60s. And into the 60s in a game like this means absolutely perfectly smooth and playable. So I wouldn't have a problem with that. And yeah, I think this thing is almost destroyed. And I wanted to test our weapon here, what we have. There, you can see it fire now. And I actually didn't see it hits anything, but yeah, at least we did see it fire. But yeah, I mean, there are already a lot of ships flying around here. I mean, even though the enemy doesn't really have any capital ships deployed, but there are still so many spacecrafts here in on the map right now. And yeah, just like that, we won the game. And I think this is a perfect time to end this benchmark as well. So yeah, if you have the 940MX, it seems that you can absolutely and perfectly play this game.